Hi, I'm Dibei Chen from Tsinghua University, and I will be talking about our work, Orinaco. To many people's surprise, Moore's law is still alive and well. With an increasing transistor budget, major CPU vendors went for wider and deeper microarchitecture design to achieve high instruction level parallelism. To make the most of those ultra wide and deep architectures, we need, we need to take more aggressive scheduling decisions. It is well known that instruction scheduling is MP hard. Therefore, most processors schedule the older thread instructions first, trying to increase their likelihood to commit as the RLB head. However, the older thread instruction does not necessarily mean the older instruction in the instruction queue. In a queue structure where instructions are ordered by their positions, recycling the gaps created by the issued instruction demands a collapsible design, which is not realistic at the scale of today's processors. As a result, the temporal ordering of instruction is lost. Out-of-order processors commit instructions in program order to enforce precise exceptions where critical resources may be held longer than necessary. Non-speculative out-of-order commit aims to commit safe instructions and reclaim their resources early, even if they are not at the head of the ROB. Meanwhile, it brings the same gap management problem as instruction queue to reorder buffer and load queue. Prior efforts to avoid collapsing ROB eagerly commit unresolved head instructions. Yet the post-commit speculation complicates the exception handling and violates the memory consistency model. So the temporary ordering here is no longer a matter of performance, but of correctness. We addressed exactly this problem in Orinaco. The goal is to preserve the ideal ordering of instructions with non collapsible queues and prioritize the issue or commit of instructions with constant time complexity. To this end, we decouple the ordering of instructions from queue positions by encoding their temporal relations and dependencies in matrices, and then traverse these matrices with the status of e each instruction in the pipeline. We implement the matrix scheduler as ATSRAM array and the scheduling operation as PIM logic, which is faster and smaller than its static or dynamic logic counterparts. Simulation results show that Orinaco achieves roughly 15% IPC improvements over the baseline while incurring negligible area overhead and power consumption, since the matrix schedulers are basically a few kilobytes of SRAM. If you are interested, Welcome to our talk in session 1B on Monday.